Hey, this is Coach D, and welcome to a Flag Football Friday special. Look, you've been asking about, hey, how the, the defense formations work, and, and what should I do with this age group or that age group? Well, I'm going to answer all of those questions and more right now. now to defense. Today, look, we're going to go over formations that work. I've coached from pre-K all the way up to eighth grade. I mean, like every single level for kids. And I'm going to tell you what works and what doesn't. All right. Now out on the field. All right. We have our formation. Now, before we get started, look at this. Look, a lot of times we are given like four, five, eight, right? Of these cones. Well, I tell you over and over and over, you got to get more cones so that you can make it easy for the kids out there to be able to line up in the different positions. So the first thing I would say, go to my site and I've got a nice little pack, a colored pack of these cones so that you can lay them out and help those kids get these formations down. With that, let's start with our pre-K to first grade. My, my favorite one of all, the formation that I use because it is 20% pass and 80% run. They are running the ball over and over and over because they, they're, not, they're not there yet. So what we do is we line up what we call linebackers, all right? So all these yellow, the yellow are linebackers. So I've got one here, right? I've got another one. I've got another one way over, way over there. And then I've got another one right there. So I've got four, they have to be one yard off the line of scrimmage, okay? And my linebackers, just so you know, anytime I, I talk about a linebacker, these are the ones that are usually close and they are incredible at flag pulling. It's all about flag pulling for these guys. So you want to make sure they have the hunger for it. For, uh, they, they see somebody cross the line and boom, they're not the fastest, they're not the most agile, but they can pull flags in those drills all day long. Okay? So those are the ones that you want up front. And then you have what's called your monster back here. Now your monster, okay, this one right here is fast. Okay, good hands if they need to, but they can survey the field. All right, they're looking, they're looking if there's fakes, if there's any of that, they can go side to side quickly. All right, we call that the monster in the back. No one gets behind them. So if they do have somebody running back here going for a pass, you make sure that that person, this safety back here, right, is following that person. At the same time, if they see a handoff, that goes beyond the line of scrimmage, then boom, they come up quickly, right? So a lot of this backpedaling and then quickly moving up, that happens a lot with the monster back here. Good vision of the field, great agility, good hands, all right? And they're running, all right? Very, very fast. They can go side to side all day long. All right, so for my pre-K to first, I'm telling you, I have used this the entire season on every single play and it has worked very, very well. So if you just wanted to keep that and you wanted to rotate some kids in and out, you could do that and it would be fine. All right, next thing, and, and first of all on this, there's no rusher. So there's usually no rusher in the, the, the Pee Wee League, all right? In the pre-K to first, there's usually no rusher. So that's what happens there stage group. I like to keep the two up front, but then I bring back my cornerbacks. Now, this is where I change up the color, change up my color, right? My linebackers are up front, right? Those are the yellow. They stay yellow. I've got my red is going to be my safety, but now pull orange. Orange is going to be my cornerbacks or my defensive backs, okay? Now, cornerbacks and defensive backs, okay? These, these orange out here. Now it's zone, okay? So they've got this whole entire zone because now we're, we're second, third, fourth, fifth, right? That means you're probably 50-50 run pass, okay? So they have to have this entire zone over here all the way to the sideline, okay? couple principles. They have to, what? Stay home. Stay home means don't rush up this guy, cornerback. 
Let the linebackers watch what's going on back here. You want to keep your eye, that's fine, up here, but you need to follow the wide receiver that's running out, okay? And you need to stay in your zone. If they hand the ball off back behind the line of scrimmage, right, if they're doing some trickery stuff right there, this one needs to stay with the wide receiver until they pass the line of scrimmage. Look, they can pass, they can hand it off as many times as they want, okay? I can hand it off four or five times behind the line of scrimmage, and then all of a sudden I've got somebody who has tricked my cornerback and my defensive back. They've gone all the way, and I could just throw it over the, the defender. So you need to make sure that they're staying home, meaning they stay with their zone, right? Nobody gets behind them, right? Nobody's behind them until they see, okay, someone has crossed the line of scrimmage, right? Once they have crossed the line of scrimmage, there's no laterals or anything like that. So then I can move up and go after the ball, okay? And if you've watched any of my videos, you know I love once they pass the line of scrimmage, once the ball has been handed off or whatever, once someone passes the line of scrimmage, I yell, ball, 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 if I, no matter what position I'm on, so that everybody crowds around the ball, right? If I go past the line of scrimmage with the ball, a single defender needs to get off of what they're doing, rush that ball, okay? That gets everybody there at once, so we're all in this together. Okay, so I've got my cornerback here staying home. Stay in your zone, baby. If they get tricked and they start coming up, but oh, oh, they just did some trick plays, that opens up this whole entire side of the field. Stay home, okay? So my linebackers, my two yellow right here, they may pop out a little bit. Now, depending on what type of uh, offense I've seen, if they like to do you know, like wide uh, sweeps. If they're doing a lot of sweeps, I might, I might pull them out a little bit. But again, these are the ones that are incredible at flag pulling. They've just got the vision for the flag and for the ball. And we're not focused on anything else except for the ball, okay? Those guys, these linebackers, it's all about the ball. So no matter how many times it switches hands or whatever, I'm watching the ball, watching the ball, okay? You can fake all day long, you're not gonna fake me out. Cool. So these guys right here, okay, they're not on man-to-man -man in this formation, right? This two-three formation. No. Okay. And then I've got my monster still here, but depending on in in um, national flag football and NFL flag, most of these, now you have a rusher at like fourth grade and up. Fourth grade and up. They have a rusher. So usually this will be your rusher, right? So they have to be seven yards off the line of scrimmage. So, and usually you have them set off to the side, but if you're gonna rush, let's say this. Let's say I'm the rusher and I'm gonna rush every time. I'm a rusher, I've got seven yards off the line of scrimmage. I've got a clear view to the quarterback. I'm coming, they know I'm coming, boom. I need to make sure that my, my quarterbacks here are covering the field. They need to make sure that the middle is still covered. Otherwise, if I, if I run, if I'm a wide receiver and I just run a nice quick like in or post pattern to the middle of the field, that'll be wide open. So just be very clear, if you're gonna have a rusher coming in, that these, these cornerbacks, or these DBs we call them, defensive backs, are covering the entire field with zone coverage, all right? Now, one thing that happens is, if you have these linebackers, they're kinda just watching for run plays, whatever, and then you have these defensive backs uh, kinda basically covering this entire section, and maybe even the middle, you might have some quick like slants that come right here. And it's okay to have short completions. You just need to make sure that these linebackers are watching for that quick slant that's gonna come in. Cause they're just trying to go, cause there's holes in this zone now. If this person is rushing all the time coming in here, there's a hole right here. There's a nice big hole. 
So I just wanna be very clear if I keep getting crushed over here with these quick slants, these wide receivers are just eating us up right here and they're getting like five yards, 10 yards here and there, you probably wanna switch it up. And we'll talk about that in just a second, okay? So I like that, I like that a lot. I also might bring up, if I have a, uh, I might do like a three, two type of situation. I might bring my safety up here a little bit. If I keep getting run all over, right? They keep running all over us. Like they're just running all over us. Meaning like up the middle, around the back, I might pop these linebackers out. And this is my three, three, two. This might go three, two. That's the line of scrimmage. I need to be one yard off. Okay, so I might have my, um, my rusher here, my monster, might be just in the middle of the field, up here. Okay, I'm still, I still have coverage with one gets behind me, okay? That's not happening, otherwise you're gonna get touchdowns over the, over the, de the defenders all day long. But if they keep doing these short passes right here, I might just bring my, right, my rusher up, and instead of rushing, I'm just gonna cover this side of the field take that away from them quickly. So that's the kind of stuff that that Bill Belichick is usually really known for. It's adjusting to the offense. So it's knowing the offense. What are they doing? Are, are they going one direction versus the other? Are they passing or are they, you know, running? Are they, you know, just little things that you're looking at. And then these are a couple of different options. Now, my number one, my favorite one that works kind of across the board and I usually use for the, the upper age when they're doing shotgun, they're doing long ball, they're doing, you know, the quarterback is somewhat mobile. I'm going to use the Husker. Now, I've talked about this one a lot, but let me go ahead and clarify for you exactly what that looks like right here. And again, in my boot camp, I just go in depth with all of this stuff. So if you like this and you want some more information about it, positions and all that good stuff, then uh, get on the boot camp. But Let's go ahead and look what happens with the Husker. So I'm going to pop my safety back. Safety goes back. These guys come in a little bit. Okay. These guys come in. And let me make something clear. If the ball ever crosses the line of scrimmage, okay, things change, sure. But if a ball is handed off, okay, ball is handed off. I'm back here. I'm the quarterback. I hand the ball off. Then these guys can come in. Your linebackers, once the ball is handed off as a linebacker, I can cross the line of scrimmage and come in. Okay. You have to be careful with that because they could do some trick plays and just go right. If, if one guy misses, right? So if that happens, so you know, but let's talk Husker for us. What do we have? A linebacker. Again, these are my like flag hungry. Anytime we do a flag drill, they're pulling like every single time. They're grabbing it by the handle. They're just crushing it with the flags. Awesome, love them. Okay, then you have your defensive backs or cornerbacks. Okay, that's who they are. Super fast, right? Not the fastest, but pretty fast, very agile great hands can go up and either deflect the pass, intercept, all of that. Just have a good, right? good agility, can stay with wide receivers, good backpedaling. Uh, yeah, got it. And then this one right here, just kind of everything, right? It's a star. It has a view of the field. It can go where, wherever it's coming. Doesn't run directly at the person, but meets them where they're going. Like just has some football acumen is what you call it. Just some smarts about the field, knows, can, can kind of read what's gonna happen with the, the offense, right? Can run up if there's a, if there's a handoff, can quickly run up, right? At the same time, super fast, can go after the quarterback if we need them to. But here's what happens with the Husker and here's why it works so well. I want to keep the quarterback guessing. I want to keep the quarterback guessing means I don't want 
the quarterback to know which one of the three here. They're all seven yards off the line of scrimmage, meaning each one of them, any of them can rush. All three of them could rush. Not gonna happen, but they could. But what we do is we color code. Let's say this is red. Let's say, let's say, keep it simple. Black, red, blue. Black, red, blue. Or if you wanna do American flag colors, I don't care. Doesn't matter. But principle is this. They decide who is going to rush. And one person will rush. Maybe it's this one. Maybe it's this one, right? And the quarterback doesn't know which way it's coming, which one is, is coming which way. So they're coming in. It's usually one that rushes. If you have a quarterback that gets kind of flustered, right? Can't be accurate, right? Then that's okay. You can go two and go after him because if, uh, if she or he is frustrated, then uh, right? But that just means you have to make sure that whichever zone is now rushing, that the other person is covering that. So just make sure that that is happening for you when you do the Husker. But they get to decide, I like to have, um, I like to build leaders as we're doing this, meaning I let them decide who's gonna go. I don't wanna say blue, 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 because within three plays, they'll know which one's blue, which one's red, which one's black, etc. So keep it quiet. These ones stay put, right? And that's great. Now, if I keep on getting beat with these short passes, then I might move to man. Or if they move everybody over in, in trips, right? Meaning like they have all of their wide on one side, I might go man to man. But if I go man to man, I have to decide while they're in their huddle or before the huddle, who am I going to get? So that you're not like, oh no, oh no, all right? Because you could easily get beat quick. So before the huddle actually happens, while these guys are, are huddling up on the offense, you need to make sure I get the uh, yellow hat, yellow hat. I get blue gloves. I get blue gloves. All right. And it's staying within one arm length of that person. That's a nice principle. So no matter where they go, I'm staying within one arm length okay, of that person. And if they go back, and this is just in my other videos, if they're running a fly pattern, meaning they're just going, then at about five yards, I have to turn, right? I have to turn and run with them. So grab some of my other videos. That's what I'm saying. You gotta subscribe so that you can pick up some of these other principles that are very, very important. But right now, I will get you my complete coach package. Click on the link down below. I think it's in my playbooks uh, section. You can just click on that, look over it. Most coaches are doing it. It has every play, every strategy, all my templates, everything you need to crush it as a coach. But first, make sure you subscribe, like, share. Look, this is Coach D. If you like what you see, go ahead and get it going.